Your next doctor's visit may include a screening for depression. It's part of a national push, and already dozens of New Mexico clinics are on board. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart reports. Experts say it's one of the leading causes of disability in millions of Americans, but not everyone is asked about depression at the doctor's office. We are not picking up everybody who is depressed. Dr. John Seibel, medical director for Health Insight New Mexico, hopes to see that change. If it goes untreated, people who come in with other medical problems, it tend to get worse and worse. Today, the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force, an independent group of national experts, recommended all primary care clinicians screen adult patients for depression. How much weight does this recommendation carry? Actually, it's going to carry a fair amount of weight because uh, th the government tends to listen to the task force. During a normal checkup, patients may now be asked if they're feeling down or hopeless, if they've lost interest in doing things. Health Insight already has 75 New Mexico primary care clinics on board to try to identify and treat depression. Our state has always been one of the highest for substance abuse and alcohol abuse. Project manager Susan Yelton says that's often linked to depression. By screening all adults, the idea is to catch someone who may be unaware they need help. They would know that it was treatable, that there was hope for it. Could this potentially be a life-saving diagnosis? Oh, definitely. Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. The doctor we spoke with says treatment for depression can mean medication, therapy, or both. To see an example of one of these depression screenings, head to the story on our KRQE News app.